Okay, hello guys. I built myself a micro pad because I wanted to experiment with RP2040 controllers instead of Pro Micro controllers. Mostly because I wanted more pins, more space for my firmware, and cheaper options to make my own keyboard. So here's my macro test pad, the grass. I started off with getting myself an RP2040 Zero at about 16 ringgit and a 128 by 64 OLED screen. I also bought DuPont connectors and a crimper because I didn't want to solder these permanently. Then I designed a simple case for 3x2 keypad, making sure I have enough space for the DuPont connectors, OLED to be screwed in, something to support the Zero in place, a section to stick my RGB strip and brass insert holes to screw in the top case. So I had the case printed by a guy, stuck some random switches I had laying around, soldered them to the columns and rows and then connected them to the DuPont connectors. Doing the first connectors was frustrating because I didn't know how to crimp, took a lot of tries and a lot of YouTube videos to kinda understand how to do it. Once I got the DuPont connectors onto the wires, first thing to do was to install KMK onto the Zero because I read that KMK was much more easier to use versus the QMK. So here's my first successful install of KMK. Uh... And here's my first successful RGB, mind the rubber band because I was still waiting for the brass inserts to arrive. Got the brass inserts installed and secured the thing with screws. A few days later, I got the OLED to work as well. My experience with KMK was it only took a few steps like installing a circuit python and copying files to get RGB and OLED to work, but generally it was way 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 painless versus QMK. However, although I got the KMK, RGB and OLED working, I wasn't satisfied that KMK couldn't do animations on OLED. On top of that, KMK always booted with identifying itself as a new drive and ran software which wouldn't run on my work laptop, so I scrapped KMK altogether and had a rematch with QMK. First thing with QMK was it still needed compiling and since this was the first time I'm using RP2040 instead of Pro microcontrollers, I had to learn how to configure it so. Turns out I just needed the newest version of QMK MSYS make my new key but then trial and error everywhere. Had issues with getting RGB to turn on because the variables are different and there are different controls here and there and things in the JSON file being not happy with config files was mind boggling because I'm just a noob. Anyway, asked around in QMK Discord, got my answers and finally got RGB to work correctly. A little more research on Reddit got my OLED to work and now all I had to do are the OLED animations. I referenced this guy's video on OLEDing and also referred to my Cornez Luna pet code. All in all, it took about 2 weeks of trial and error to get this done. By the way, how I did the animations was convert the video to GIF, find the individual frames for the animation, edit to have black background and white text, convert each frame into byte arrays, paste them into the key map file, figure out the duration of each frame, repeat to make 5 sets of these, then use the if else conditions at the end. Pretty sure there's a more efficient way to write this code but then again I have no idea how to write code. Anyway the animations change when words per minute changes and I have one animation when caps lock is pressed. So yeah that's how I made my grass macro pad and I'm just happy how it turned out. I don't know what I'll use it for though, it's mostly like a fidget toy for now. So TLDR, I made a macro keypad because I wanted RGB and OLED on a keyboard using a cheap RP2040 controller, tried to use KMK but it wasn't feature packed enough and went through QMK again for the lulls. So uh, thanks for watching, Gosho arigatou gozaimashita!